Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, November 27, 2010. This week, holiday project number one, using guides to size images for gift tags. The holiday season is here. The next four weeks will be festive and fun with plenty of opportunities to show your love and appreciation for others in creative ways. In that spirit, we're beginning our holiday project series with a tip for creating your own circle tags in a size that can be punched with a large circle paper punch. Circle punches are widely available in the paper crafting section of craft stores and scrapbook stores. They come in a variety of sizes that make quick work of cutting circles. Using these punches in your digital scrapbook supplies, you can create one-of-a-kind gift tags this year. Here's how. You'll need to have the full version of Photoshop or Elements 9 loaded for this project. If you haven't upgraded to Elements 9 yet, you can download a free 30-day trial version from Adobe.com. Upgrading to Elements 9 will give you the ability to create and use guides. Begin by opening a document in the size you'd like to print. For the sample, I'm creating an 8.5 by 11 inch page at 300 pixels per inch, RGB color mode, and a white background. Make sure you can see the rulers across the top and down the left side of your editing screen. If you can't see them, select View Rulers from the menu bar. Measure the diameter of your circle punch. I'm using a 1 and 3 quarters inch circle punch for my tags. Get the Move tool here and click on the ruler to the left of the editing window. Holding the clicker down, drag to the right. You'll see the cursor change into a double arrow and as you reach the document, you'll begin to see the guideline appear as a dotted line. When you let go of the mouse, you'll see the guideline. I like to make the measurements easy on myself by placing the first guideline at the one inch mark. Use the top ruler here to place the guideline in the right spot. Now drag out a second guideline. I'll place this one at two and three quarters inches. If you accidentally place your guide in the wrong place, just hover over it until it turns into the double arrow. When this happens, you can move the guideline. Next, click and drag a guideline from the ruler across the top of the editing window. Drag downward and place a guideline on your document. I'll place this guide at one inch and then drag out another guideline to two and three quarters inches. Now you've got a nice little box that's exactly the size of your paper punch. Choose the foreground color that you'd like to use for your digital ink and then create a new layer by clicking the create a new layer icon in the layers panel. Load the circle brush of your choice. I'll use this one from Katie Pertit's Holiday Dots number three. Chances are the brush will be too large to fit into your box. So make it smaller by clicking the left square bracket key on your keyboard or adjust the slider here in the options bar. In the full version of Photoshop, you can adjust the slider in the brush picker dialog box and that'll fit just perfectly. Now get the move tool and drag the stamped image outside of your box. Repeat the process by making a new layer, choosing a color, and stamping an image. And then using the move tool to drag the image out of the square until you fill up your whole page. You can mix it up by placing a photo inside a circle of words or using a digital element in the center of a ring. Select File, Print to print your page. When your page is printed, you can punch out your tags. Mount them on cardstock and write your to from information on the back of the tags. Attach the tags to bags or gifts with a pretty ribbon for customized holiday tags. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another holiday project using Photoshop or Elements.